Hello, welcome to NetApp KBTV. This video demonstrates how to non-disruptively migrate a node's root volume aggregate onto new disk in ONTAP 9. ONTAP 9 and later releases added a feature system node migrate root that non-disruptively migrates the root volume to different disk on a same storage controller. The command is a background script similar to an automated non-disruptive migration. This procedure can be performed when we are decommissioning or removing the shelf on which the root volume is created and also in the scenario where we want to move the root volume to different disk type size disk for instance from SSD to SATA which is a low RPM drive. Run the command cluster show. This command shows how many nodes are there in the cluster. This is a two node cluster node 1 and node 2. Now run the command vault show. Our objective is to migrate root volume wall 0 on node 1 to different set of disk on the same node. To check the root volume resides on which disk on node 1, run the command. Currently the root aggregate is partitioned across these three disks that is 1, 3 and 5. Before we start the migration, we have to identify the disk to which we are migrating the root volume. To check the available spare disk on node 1, run the command. These are all the available spare disk on node 1. Now let us start the root volume migration. Enter advanced mode. Run the command. And specify the disk to be used as target disk. We can select 7, 9 and 11 as the new target disk. This operation will create a new root aggregate and replace the existing root on the node 1. The existing root aggregate will be discarded. The command starts a job that backs up the node configuration, creates a new aggregate, set it as new root aggregate, restores the node configuration and finally restores the name of the original aggregate and volume. To check the progress of the job, run the command. You can see the root aggregate migration job for the node has started. And the first process is starting node configuration backup. The job might take a couple of minutes depending on the time it takes for zeroing the disk, rebooting the node and restoring the node configuration. We hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching this video.